so it is April 27th and I'm in Mount Pleasant. A few of us have come to the railroad for kind of an impromptu work weekend um, to work on a few projects. This will probably be the last time I'm in Mount Pleasant until I get back from Nevada. So I won't be back until like late August. So it should be fun. Say goodbye to everyone. Work on some fun projects. So let's see what we get up to. The guys got the Shea out so they could start getting it ready for Durango to come work on it. So I think we're going to be putting a graph on sections today and ultrasounding it. It's kind of like humid. I think it's supposed to storm later, so hopefully it doesn't get like too bad that we have to stop working. You never know what the weather's gonna do. Last night, I think there was a ton of tornadoes that um, went through Nebraska and Iowa, so hopefully we don't have a repeat of that. So we're going to draw a grid on the back. Oh, the boiler. What? This is why we wear face shields when we're using wire wheels. Ooh. Ouch. Wear your PPP. <laughs> wear your PPE, people. I got a new sticker oh, for my wow. hard hat. Okay, I got my chalk. Got my T-square. We're gonna attempt to make six by six squares and yes i have a hard hat on i've had six concussions so i have to protect the noggin you can't like make a perfect line because of where the rivets are yeah that's kind of skip over them i broke the chalk <laughs> The crayon or the chalk? Or the crayon, sorry. Oh, I think just like that. I think I may have slightly overestimated how easy it would be to draw a grid. Whoops. Here's what we got going right now. The curves and the rivets make it a lot harder than it looks. My mostly finished graph. So you want to <clears throat> get a line? Do we need a straight edge? Or? I'm thinking. Mm -hmm.
working on? Equalizing beam for the tube. Did a lot of work today getting it ready for Durango to come and work on it and now it's going away and I think we're gonna get some food and call it a day.